Due to popular request, what we are doing on this weekend, on Saturday, is dishing out some charity. Charity in this case is going to be what exactly am I using in my game when it comes to add-ons, when it comes to features like weak auras, like plater, like bigwigs, boss mods, and other useful tools you might find whenever you watch my videos, the footage of my in-game characters. Since I get many questions about, hey Aizen, what was, what was this? How are you using to make this look like that? You know, what's this thing popping out right here? So we have another one of those videos where we're going to try to list some of the more wondered about tools in my in my videos to then give out some of the links some of the profiles for these these tools so we find ourselves right now in an 11 uh, dawn breaker okay let's start with the, the simple things what you see right here is a cell profile i have my own cell profile different between uh, mythic plus and the raid because i want of course my cell profile to be doing different things whether or not I am in a raid or if I am in uh, in mythic plus because when it comes to when it comes to the raid I want I want smaller frames I want to be able to see certain things compared to mythic plus for example things like uh, offensive cooldowns right offensive cooldowns I do care about in mythic plus you know to see who is using what who is popping which cooldowns but in the raid do I care to see 20 different frames, 15 different DPS and their little cooldowns being used in the raid? Not really. Same goes for the usage of defensives. I care more for defensives being used in Mythic Plus than in the raid. So that's what is set up in this uh, cell profile, which you will find the link of, of course, if you want to snatch this entire thing. Left of it is now a pretty popular add-on to use very often in Mythic Plus, which is Omni CD. The point of Omni CD is to very simply allow you to simply put next to whichever character you want a whole bunch of things whether you want to see offensive abilities defensive abilities if you want to see utility you can just pick and choose what you want to visualize right over here it's of course a better tool for healers than it is for dps you know you want to see if you know the warrior has rallying cry available or if the hunter has or has not used turtle for this next uh, you know dangerous mechanic so that's the combo that's being used in mythic plus especially cell plus omni cd for the profile now as for the game itself that you see right here in the middle you see for example this one and then you also this this one and then you also see this one and then you also see the icons next to the boss itself as well as the warning in the middle and now the warning that you have a debuff on you right over here now this is much less complicated than it sounds because it's just a couple of tools this one is straight up very simply big wigs and the one you are going to be seeing here once in a while is a very simple wikora package for dungeons in the world within you know it's not really anything anything special the only the only modifications given to that package is the positioning you know i try to make sure to line up my cell my my position the position of my mythic plus frames to be close or very lined up with the the war within dungeons we chorus so i have my unit frames right over here right above it i have the icons and then above them i have the the spells and right in the middle, you have the more important warnings, you know, things like roots, move, pull, dispel or whatever, popping up right on top of your head. This uh, package, the, the War Within Dungeon package, also comes with the affix windows, you know, the timers for when the affix is spawning in Mythic Plus. And the other one is very simply bigwigs. Now you might be wondering, okay, but I don't get to have bigwigs to look like this. How does it look so neat and smooth? What's up with that? Again, it's something its something very simple. There is no magic behind it. You have to simply discover the technology of clicking on bars and then clicking on style and then clicking on tech UI and you're done. You know, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what you have to do. When you do this, you could do the, the default one, which is this. Then you have the beauty case, the default tell UI, mono UI and tech UI. That's it. That's what you do if you want to, to make them look like that. Now, you might have possibly heard something. It's difficult with the, with my own voice plus the, the music I was blasting in this, uh, in this run. But there are also warnings, voice warnings for mechanics. Let's see if you can hear some. Yeah, this is very simply the voice package. It does nothing other than announcing in voice whatever it's coming down. 
right and again this is something very simple you can set up yourself once you have the voice pack for big wigs in that case for example we were in the dawnbreaker right we were on the first boss of dawnbreaker right this one and it was calling out obsidian beam right obsidian beam voice there you go either <laughs> either you're gonna you're gonna hear this or not that's that's very simple that's pretty much all all you have to set up if you want to hear the, the voices, the announcements in voice for bigwigs. That for now is the entire package between all of these bars coming from, from bigwigs, all of these bars coming from the, the War Within dungeon, dungeon package, any extra icons coming down here or the warnings coming in the middle of the screen are still just from one package, the, the War Within package of warnings. This is from Cell, this is from Omni CD. the cast bar is just default you know, quartz cast bar. The other thing you can see in this screen when playing are, of course, the things attached to, not very useful for the bosses, but if you skip forward to things like trash mobs, maybe, you know, many trash mobs, is the icons next to the plates, name plates of the enemies, right? Now, this is more useful than what we looked in a boss because the boss is going to have bigwigs or DBM available, right? So it's not nearly as important to be able to see all of these icons next to a boss's plate because when you're fighting a boss, you are going to have all of this. So it's, it's much more clear when something is coming. So this is not really necessary, right? So it's not it's not that necessary. You already have your countdowns and whatnot when you're fighting a boss. The things become, things become more, you know, complicated when fighting trash mobs where you don't have any big wig bar announcing you anything so you have to go by these announcements these warnings for example abyssal rot which is quite dangerous will be quite dangerous at high key level because of the dot it puts on players right so you want to know when it's coming and the, the easiest thing to see when these dots are coming is when you just check on these icons next to the nameplates of the enemies now this is achievable two ways Possibly even three ways, but I'm not sure about uh, about uh, DBM. For sure, Bigwigs does have this uh, feature. It's a new feature, to be fair. It's uh, Bigwigs nameplates, which does exactly that. It, you know, let me just show test icon. There you go. That's what Bigwigs does now. It just shows the internal cooldown of abilities of enemies, right? And even some, in some cases, some useful things like you know, fixating on enemies, whatever. Now, this is not nearly as precise and nearly as uh, detailed as if you actually just went and took the spell CDs on nameplate Wikora. The reason for this is because Bigwix mostly functions by letting a particular spell be cast first and then go on cooldown. So initially, practically, you won't be even seeing any of these until the enemy cast it the first time. Once it's done casting, it will go on cooldown and you will start seeing the cooldown. For many more abilities, this will already start with its own cooldown and start already uh, being seen in the nameplates if you're using the spell CDs on, uh, on nameplates weak aura rather than just relying on the default one. But either way, you can choose between both. The only annoying part about big wigs is that if you don't want nameplates uh, to show up the warnings apparently there is no there is no button to just disable this to just remove this anywhere so you have to like i did manually go dungeon by dungeon trash mob by trash mob and remove the nameplate warning on every single one of these ones that show up within in the nameplates dungeon by dungeon trash by trash and remove them all so you can keep enabled your um, your spell cds on nameplate we call it. so that is what is going to show up in here next to the enemies also you know glowing when the cast is being is being done by the enemy and then go on cooldown right after etc etc that's another one of the useful tools when it comes to mythic plus i guess setup for your ui now when it comes to the nameplates themselves this is also nothing too special this is just uh, the default jandis plater which you will find the link down below in the description you, you will be able to of course tinker with it it's recommended you do so for example i didn't in this case why would i want to see this on the enemy you know what does this do other than clamp my screen with something useless why do i need to see this icon right the the, the, the logical solution would have been to hover down to this to check out the id of this of this debuff if you if you want you can also use 
add-ons like ID tip, which I have right over over here. It's very recommended because all it does is you hover over a spell and it shows you the spell ID. So if you were fighting an enemy, for example, you would just hover over any of these to see the ID of whatever the enemy had. And then you would open Plater. You would go into buff tracking and you're like, okay, I don't want to see some of these things because they just clamp my screen for no reason. You just add a debuff or a buff to the blacklist. So you just don't get to see them annoyingly right over here. But besides that, the profile is, is John Displater, which you will find the link in the description as well for this. No other special editing has been done to the, to the plates themselves. This is also asked every time, but what you, what you see me moving around is my mouse cursor, which you will also find the link for uh, as a Wikora. This is just a very simple uh, Wikora. It was made to, you know, make the mouse cursor a little bit more visible. There was a default one from Wago.io, which I modified slightly just to, I don't know, make it a bit more, a bit more visible with the, with, with the glowy thing around the, around the cursor. And that's most most of the tools you might be interested in when, for example, going into a Mythic Plus key. Between the icons and the warnings for things like stunned enemies or cast incoming, the cooldowns, even the cast bars of the enemies. You know, in this case, these cast bars are yellow, right? The reason why they are yellow is because I have my interrupt available. As soon as I use, eventually, you know, one day, I'm a good player, I'll definitely interrupt some of these, right? Right? There you go. I interrupted one. Now they become orange. And they become orange because I don't have an interrupt. So I cannot stop this. I can only stop this if I use things like a stun or a knockup, which I don't have right now. But it's also to give you a, a, an easier read on the situation of enemies, you know? Even if they are casting, you can't really interrupt because it's on cooldown, etc, etc. All of this comes from the single package of the Plater profile. Then you have the cell profile, Omni CD, which also comes with the interrupt tracker right over here. You have the big wigs, which is more relevant uh, for bosses than it is for, for trash mobs, right? When you go over the, the boss over here, that's when big wigs becomes more, more important. The default, the war within package for dungeons, which will work for both trash mobs and also for for bosses, as well as I'm gonna add still, anyways, my own sweets, my own sweet for my characters. Now, these sweets are just a slight edit of Publix Wikoras, most of them, except for the Evoker one, which is made completely by myself. I will leave them in the, in the description as well. This one is for the for the Evoker, then you have one for the Shaman, and then you have the last one for the Priest as well. The Shaman and the Priest one only have a few modifications, like uh, editing the order of the abilities, because for example, the default package of this Shaman Wikora puts things like Link, Healing Tide, you know, right over here, but I'm like, they have a three minute cooldown, why do I want to see them right here? What I want to see in order are the spells I'm gonna use the most the more important spells I want to track cooldowns of. So these go here. And then what I also want is cooldowns all in a line, right? Three minutes, two minutes, two minutes, one minute, three minutes. You know, I want to see them all over here under the spells I use the most, etc., etc. These slight modifications to the profile as well. And then also, as I mentioned, the profile of Cell will both work in with the plus and then change when it comes to when it comes to the raid because of the different a different setups I put between Mythic Plus and, and the Raid. So with this, with this recapped, we have now listed the most used add-ons I have for both Mythic Plus and the Raid. I'm not gone over things like details, okay? Things like bartender, things like bad boy to block the spam in chat, or things like ERT for the notes in the Raid, etc, etc. I just talked about the more you know, the more important ones for when you're playing, for visualizing important things, you know, important mechanics, etc, etc. So, this was today's recap on this Saturday about, um, you know, useful things to have. Maybe you didn't have them, maybe you have them, but you had a scrappy, terrible profile. You might get, you might grab a better working profile for you in some of these links down below in the description. Hopefully, hopefully, this might have helped even just, um, you know, a few of you to improve your to improve your UI with more and better information in your gameplay. So 
With this out of the way, we can now leave each other on this Saturday. Starting, of course, the goodbyes by thanking everyone for having watched the video, but also for everyone else who is supporting completely for free by liking and commenting down below, as well as subscribing to the channel itself. Now, with these things out of the way, thank you guys again for watching. See you guys tomorrow. And in the meantime, it took slightly longer than expected. And also, it's very sunny outside. A bit too sunny outside for being almost October.